The Battle of Kimolpo Bay was a naval battle in the Russo-Japanese War 1904-1905, which took place on 9 February 1904, off the coast of present-day Incheon, Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Background The opening stage of the Russo-Japanese War began with a preemptive strike by the Imperial Japanese Navy against the Russian Pacific Fleet spread among Port Arthur, Vladivostok, and Kimolpo Bay, now part of Incheon, Korea. Command of the Kimolpo operation was given to Rear Admiral Oyu Sotokichi, with six cruisers, three to eight torpedo boats, depending on sources, the Aviso dispatch boat Chihaya, three transports, and 2,500 ground troops. Kimolpo also had strategic significance, as it was the main port for the Korean capital of Seoul, and was also the main invasion route used previously by Japanese forces in the First Sino-Japanese War of 1894. However, Kimolpo, with its wide tidal bore, extensive mudflats, and narrow, winding channels, posed a number of tactical challenges for both attackers and defenders. The Japanese protected cruiser Chiyoda had been based at Kimolpo for the past ten months, and had been keeping watch on the Russian protected cruiser Variag and the aging gunboat Koritz, also based at Kimolpo to look after Russian interests. After the Russian transport Sungari arrived at Kimolpo on 7 February 1904, reporting the sighting of a large Japanese force approaching, the gunboat Koritz was ordered to Port Arthur to report and request instructions. In the early morning of 8 February, Koritz spotted Chiyoda outside the Kimolpo roadstead, and mistaking it for a fellow Russian ship, loaded its guns for a salute. On closing in, the crew of Koritz realized their mistake and in the ensuing confusion the guns were discharged. Chiyoda responded by launching a torpedo. Both sides missed, but this was the first actual exchange of fire in the Russo-Japanese War, and it is highly unclear which side actually opened fire first. Koritz retreated back to Kimolpo Harbor. Later in the morning of 8 February 1904, Chiyoda rendezvoused with Oyu's squadron outside the entrance to Kimolpo, and reported that several warships from neutral countries were present in the anchorage, including HMS Talbot, Great Britain, Pascal, France, and Elba, Italy. An American warship the gunboat USS Vicksburg was also present, but she was further up the harbor. Uryu reasoned that if the Russians remained anchored in the midst of the neutral ships, they could not attack his transports, whereas if the Russians came out to do battle, he had ample force to deal with them. On the other hand, it was against international law to attack the Russians while they were anchored in a neutral port. Uryu sent a message requesting that the captains of HMS Talbot, Pascal and Elba to shift their anchorage, promising that no attack should be delivered before 1600. Topic. Battle Uryu ordered the cruisers Chiyoda, Takachiho, Asama and his torpedo boats to proceed up the channel with the troopships to commence the debarkation at once, while the cruisers Nanua, Nataka and Akashi were held in reserve. Three torpedo boats took refuge near Nataka far board. At 1800 on 8 February, Japanese troopships anchored at Kimolpo, mooring next to the Russians, and disembarked four battalions of soldiers of the IJA 12th Division in an operation that continued into the night. To the amazement of the tense Japanese, the Russians aboard Variag and Koritz took no action, but continued to air out bunting as if on parade. The troop disembarkation was complete by 3 o'clock on 9 February, and all Japanese warships and transports withdrew from the harbor except for the Chiyoda. The latter delivered a letter to Variag and neutral vessels, including the British cruiser Talbot, the French cruiser Pascal, the Italian cruiser Elba, and the U.S. gunboat Vicksburg and Collier Pompey. His Imperial Japanese Majesty's ship Nanua Kimolpo Roadstead, February 8. 1904 Sir, I have the honor to notify you that as hostilities exist between the Empire of Japan and the Empire of Russia at present I shall attack the men of war of the government of Russia, stationed at present in the port of Kimolpo, with the force under my command, in case of the refusal of the Russian senior naval officer present at Kimolpo to my demand to leave the port of Kimolpo before the noon of 9 February, 1904, and I respectfully request you to keep away from the scene of action in the port so that no danger from the action would come to the ship under your command. The above-mentioned attack will not take place before 4 o'clock p.m. of 9 February, 1904, to give time to put into practice the above-mentioned request. If there are any transports or merchant vessels of your nationality in the port of Kimolpo at present, I request you to communicate to them the above notification. 
I have the honor to be, sir, your most obedient servant. S. U. R. I. U. A conference was quickly convened on Talbot by Captain Vsevolod Rudnev and the captains of neutral warships except Vicksburg, and it was decided that the Russians would fight their way out. At noon, Captain Dennis Bagley of Talbot came to Nanawa with a letter signed by all of the neutral captains except for the captain of Vicksburg, W. A. Marshall, declining the request to change anchorage, on the grounds that Kimolpo was a neutral port. Outgunned and outnumbered, and refusing advice from the neutral captains to surrender, at 11 o'clock on 9 February, Captain Vsevolod Rudnev of Variag attempted to make a break for the open sea. From the Variag logbook 11.10 All hands on deck on Variag 11.20 Cruiser goes to open sea, Corrits in one cable length 200 meters behind. English and Italian crews cheer Russians, on the Italian cruiser Elba the Russian anthem is played. 11.25 Battle alarm on Variag. Japanese cruisers Asama, Nanawa, Takachiho, Chiyoda, Akashi and Nataka in bearing line from Ritchie Island to Northern Passage. Japanese torpedo boats behind cruisers. 11.45 Variag opens fire with port guns. 11.47 Asama opens fire with 8-inch gun, all Japanese squadron then open fire. One of the first Japanese shells that hit cruiser, destroyed the port wing of front bridge, set fire in chart house and broke the fore shrouds. Junior navigating officer midshipman Count Alexei Narod was killed, all personnel on range finding station number 1 were killed or wounded. Damaged 10.2 Gun number 3, all personnel killed or wounded, battery commander midshipman Gubonen was wounded, but refused to go away until he fall. Fire on bow and quarterdeck was put out by midshipman Chernolovsky Sokol. With the same shell, that caused fire was damaged guns, 10.2 No. 8 and No. 9, 75 mm No. 21 47 mm No. 27 and No. 28. With other hits was nearly destroyed main battletop, destroyed range finding station No. 2, damaged guns No. 31 and No. 32, fire in lockers on accommodation deck was put out lively. 12.05 after passing traverse of Yo Dol Mi, island trunk with rudder drive was damaged. At the same time, Captain Rudnev was shell-shocked in head by fragments of another shell, hitting foremast. Staff bugler and drummer, who stay astride him was deadly killed, helmsman petty officer Snedjarev was badly wounded in back, and orderly of Captain Quartermaster Chibasov was lightly wounded too. Ship from now was steered from steering compartment, but orders were stiffed, so course permanently was corrected with engines. At strong current cruiser steered badly. 12.15 willing to go out of fire range to repair as possible steering drive and put out fires in different places begin to turn with machines, as cruiser steered badly. Near Yodolmi Island engines on full back. Cruiser was put in disadvantage position relatively to Ireland when steering drive was broken with rudder at 15 to 20 degrees on port side. Distance to enemy shortens to 28 to 30 cable length, fire strengthens, hits increase. Near the same time large caliber shell hit port side underwater, water gushed into huge hole, stokehold number 3 begins to fall with water, which level raised up to furnaces. Chief officer and chief boatswain placed patch under the hole, water was pumped all time, its level decreased continuously, but cruiser continued to listing at port side. With shell passing through officer cabins, which were wrecked, deck was pierced and meal in provision berth was inflamed. Then cotton netting at waist under the sick quarters was pierced, wherein fragments get into sick quarters, cots in netting catch fire, which was put out lively. Serious damage forced us to get out of fire range for a more long time, that is why we come to roadstead at full speed, firing with port and bow guns. Throughout the battle with one shot of 10.2, gun hashtag XII bow bridge of Asama cruiser was destroyed and put afire, Asama stopped fire for some time, bow turret on her was apparently damaged, as it not fired up to the end of battle. 12.40 with cruiser approached the berth and Japanese fire become dangerous for neutral ships on roadstead, two cruiser pursuing a stop the fire and return to the rest of squadron out of Yodolmi Island. 12.45 distance to the Japanese so increased, that our fire become ineffective, so we stop it. Although the Russian logbook records damage to Asama, Japanese records indicate that she took no damage. Unable to break past the Japanese squadron by mid-afternoon, Koritz and the badly battered Variag returned to Kimolpo Harbor at 13.15, where both took refuge near the neutral warships. At 1600, Koritz was scuttled by her crew by blowing up two powder rooms. Fragments of the blown-up ship landed dangerously close to neutral vessels. 
Fearing a greater explosion with potential casualties, the captains of the neutral warships present urged Rudnev not to blow up Variag in a similar manner. At 1810, scuttled by her crew, Variag rolled over on her port side and sank. Crewmen from Variag were dispatched to the Russian transport Sungari, which had remained behind in the harbour during the battle, and set her on fire to prevent her from falling into Japanese hands. Outcome The Battle of Kimolpo was a military victory for the Japanese. Russian casualties on the Variag were heavy. All of Variag's 12 6-in guns, all of her 12-pounders, and all of her 3-pounders were out of action. She took five serious hits at or below the waterline. Her upper works and ventilators were riddled, and her crew had put out at least five serious fires. Of her crew with a nominal strength of 580, 33 were killed and 97 wounded. Most serious cases among the Russian wounded were treated at the Red Cross Hospital at Kimolpo. The Russian crews—except for the badly wounded—returned to Russia on neutral warships and were treated as heroes. Although severely damaged, Variag—not blown up was later raised by the Japanese and incorporated into the Imperial Japanese Navy as the training ship Soya. Topic. See also List of battles of the Russo-Japanese War